Hi everyone and uh, welcome to my video review of the Dirt Devil M607. Um, this is actually the first video review I'm ever gonna do. I'll try to make it uh, as info informative as possible. Um, right, so let's get to it. This is obviously the box. Um, the Dirt Devil is one of the cheaper robot vacuum cleaners as they call it it's like um, huh. if you search a little you can find it like for 90 euros 100 euros i got mine from amazon i think it was like 91 euros so like if you compare this to all the bigger brands like let's say a iRobot Roomba or the Neovos that's a lot of difference because they actually start from 300 euros and up so yeah I decided to give it a try and uh, I just want to share my um, my thoughts and my uh, my user experience with you guys. I've had it uh, in my possession I think for two months now. So yeah, let's get to it. This is the box it arrives with. Inside you will find obviously the vacuum cleaner. Um, let's see what else is left here. The booklet, obviously. It's interesting to read. I'll tell you some of the functions while explaining the rest. You'll get one extra filter for the dispense unit. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, where you collect the dust. Um, this is there. You get one spare um, pair of brushes. If something ever happens to the original ones or if they wear out. Um, I guess that's more or less it. This is just empty. I guess the battery one's in this one. Let's throw this away. Then you have the vacuum cleaner itself. Aesthetics. Um, it's actually looking kind of nice to be honest. Um, it's not too high, so it can fit underneath most uh, underneath most chairs or uh, sofas. The thing with the robot vacuum cleaner is that you should have your rooms more or less feasible to them if you know what i mean if you're gonna put a lot of stuff in the way with a lot of carpet and stuff like that's gonna have some trouble but if you make it easy on him they will try to make life easy on you so that's a nice relationship right there if you turn it around you can see the brushes here which are not installed if you buy them you have to do it manually i will say something more about that later if you open this cap, you will find the battery underneath. Oops. Voilà. It's just pop in, pop out. They delivered it separately, probably due to safety precautions. Just take it out of the box. Can only fit in one way, so it's not too hard. Fit it in, chuck, close the lid, and it's ready to charge. Um, right, so this is the mouth through which it sucks, not that big. Um, I don't own any of the more expensive robots, so we cannot really compare, but I'm guessing that it might be a little bit bigger than the other ones. This is, I don't know how they say it in English, it's probably like the, the bumper, right? So it just drives around a little bit and every time it hits something, bang, it will see that it's hitting something, go a little bit back and move on. Um, you have three LEDs here on the top, it's basically for saying when the battery is empty, when the battery is full, and when it needs to be emptied, so the basket. Um, when it's charging, the battery light will flash continuously until it is fully charged, and sorry, when it is charging, it will blink, and when it is charged, it will flash blinking, right? And if you pop up the hood, you will not find the engine, but you will find the dustbin, right? It's a simple design. It's not very big. Um, I think you can use it. Uh, I empty mine every time it runs. So you have your filter, you pop it up, and then you have the actual dustbin where it will collect all the dirt, all the dog hairs it will come across. So this is the filter. They write it, you can wash it from time to time. I haven't washed mine, not once. I just pick it up, it's kind of dirty. You can wipe it and then use it again. This one I actually tweaked a little bit. Let me see. Ah, here. 
Um, they come from the factory with this little lip, which is kind of ingenious, but we'll get to why I'm not using them in a little bit. You have these rubber caps, you can pull them off, and basically it's like this, with the rubber caps on it. So why is this? Well, it's just because this is where the dust will flow through. So when it is actually vacuuming, this will open up, the dust can come in, but when it stops vacuuming, it will close. So this thing will actually prevent dust from swirling around and falling back out of the vacuum cleaner. Which would of course defeat the whole process of vacuuming in the first place. So why am I not using this? Well, actually the reason is because I have two dogs and um, <laughs> wow, my English must sound really crappy. Um, and the reason why is if you're using the plastic cap, actually if your dogs have long hair, it will get stuck quite rapidly underneath and nothing else will be able to get through if you remove the plastic cap I'm gonna put these back before I forget it will be able to suck up a lot more dog hair than normally um, how is this thing with dogs? a lot of you are probably wondering or cats for that matter well I have two border collies they have quite long hair and to be honest it's doing quite well even when they are shedding um, is it shedding in English? I have no idea. I know lizards shed their skin, dogs, are they shedding? I don't know, but once or twice a year they uh, lose some of their hair. So basically when that process is ongoing, you will have to let it run a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, but you will be able to do it just fine, actually. Um, really surprised on that fact. So, yeah. You empty it when it's used, you close it back up. Back right there, boom. This is the inside, right? So basically when it's running, this one will spin, which will create pressure suckage here and suck the air through the sucking mouth. Wow, that's a lot of sucking in one sentence. And into the dustbin. So you empty it, you close it back up, put the hood back on, bam, and it's ready to go. Um, Sensors, well, yeah, this one is supposed to have sensors, which you can um, manually set here and here. Haven't actually ever tried them, believe me or not, because it's, uh, mine is only running downstairs in the kitchen and the living room. But um, yeah, let's try, actually. Let's just hope it doesn't uh, drive off a cliff immediately. I'm gonna let it come from here. Wow, so yeah, apparently he does know how to handle um, edges. Basically the slider here is, um, I've read it in the book, it's between having a um, dark edge or a light edge, meaning that it's either very deep or very shallow and there is a lot of light on it or it is pretty dark which is basically referring to the, the color of your tiles, I assume. Um, other basic things, well, I'm guessing most of the things you can find online by just reading it. Charging takes up about mm, in between three to four hours, after which it can and will vacuum your house for around an hour. It will use always these three patterns meaning that um, first it will just drive around a little bit just cruising through your house let me see if I can get this any better yeah just bumping into things and then going the other way after a while it will move away from the wall and start sucking in a circular pattern which is this one and if it completed that one it will start just sucking the edges of your um, room it always goes through all three steps and when it completed all three of them it will start at the front again so basically it's just a matter of coincidence but the house is pretty neat to be honest um how does it charge well it would be i guess a little bit ridiculous to assume that uh, a vacuum cleaner of this price has a docking station so it has not people you get a charger included with a cable which you basically just pop in the power socket and you pop it in this bad boy right here 
after which it will start charging. If the light is continuously burning, it will be ready to go. You pull it off, it is a switch right next to the charging port. If you open it, it will blink a few seconds and then go. Sound, well, actually, it's really good. It's not that loud. You could still do things. Um, if you're a purist, I would not say watch a movie, but watching some TV is perfectly possible, or eating, um, or just doing basic stuff, I guess. <clears throat> um, what are we forgetting? Let's see. Um, yeah, one important thing to note, which I guess a lot of people will forget, is basically these um, brushes, right? You have to open them up from time to time. So the vacuum cleaner itself gets delivered with the brushes detached. So you can just, they're just pop in, pop out actually. You pull them and they come right loose and you put them into do the same thing. But as you could expect, let me see if I can get to show you this. If it has run for a few, I do this like every two or three weeks, two weeks will be enough. You can see that where you pop in the brush, actually also some hair uh, will have gathered. Let me see if I can get this. Yep, voila. So same on the other side. So then you just pop, pop the brushes off. You collect the hair, get it out of there. And pop the brushes back in. Well, so that was all for my short video review of this um, Dirt Devil M607. I'm very pleased with it, I'm gonna be honest, especially at this price point. If you're unsure about getting a robot vacuum cleaner for your house, I would definitely recommend it. I would say give it a go. It really doesn't disappoint. And um, if you wanna step up to one of the bigger models, which will be undoubtedly better, I'm not gonna contradict any of that, although I have no experience, you can still keep this one. For example, for your bedroom or uh, some other small room. Thanks for watching and I hope it was useful. See ya!